All BladeBridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by BladeBridge or its team members. I'm going to focus on two conversions today, uh, data stage to Matillion Databricks and then Informatica to Matillion Databricks. Um, the way we run our converters, they're all command line utilities. You can hook them up to our UI as well in case you have a large project and you want to manage the lifecycle of a project uh, through, through UI. But typically our, our converters are uh, command line utilities and uh, to run them, I can just open up a Windows prompt or a Linux prompt. They're, they're built for both Linux and Windows and just run the executable. So I have a configuration set up here and I'll be converting this data stage job. So prior to, to running the converter, I wanna export this job, which I've done already into an XML representation. Uh, so really quickly, uh, the contents of this job. So we have a couple of sources. We have uh, a relational source, a flat file source, couple of transforms. Within transforms, we have data stage specific um, expressions. So we have a function call here. We have a filtering logic here. Um, and then we have an aggregator. We have a lookup. Uh, and once I run the converter, the converter will produce an equivalent in Matillion uh, for, for date breaks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you our command line. So our command line uh it looks like this so we'll, we'll call the executable we'll, pa we'll pass the license key file we'll um pass the name of the xml file so it could be a single xml file with a minus i option or minus d and a folder potentially with subfolders containing many xml files produced out of the date stage and the the output folder name and the config file so i'm going to go into the config file uh, in a few minutes once I do the conversion to explain how the converter works and um, to what level you can customize the output patterns. So I'm going to go ahead and run the converter and I'll, I'll just display my output folder here. So data stage to Matillion. My output folder is currently empty. I'm going to go ahead and run the converter. So the converter produces a Matillion JSON file. It also can optionally produce all the DDL files uh, that the converter thinks we need in order to uh, provide orchestration. So for example, the converter can detect elements in, um, in a date stage parallel job or, or a ser server job and um, determine that some of the elements need to be, to be pushed up to the uh, orchestration layer in Matillion, and it can optionally produce two jobs instead of just producing a transformation job. So I'm going to go ahead and import this file into Matillion. All right, so this is my file. So the converter produced two jobs, the transformation job and the orchestration job. And depending on the um, uh, functionality of a particular component, that functionality can be pushed into the orchestration layer. So for example, truncation of tables will be pushed into the orchestration layer, as well as any pre-SQL statements or post-SQL statements. And then the actual job can be called um, from the orchestration uh, job uh, straight from there. So, uh, what the converter will do, it will mimic the functionality of the original data state job and components that carry multiple functions. For example, the transform component in data stage uh, can have filtering component as well as multiple outputs. So the converter actually created four components in Matillion out of um, one transform. And another thing that the converter will do, it will convert all the function calls, all the um, keywords, that are specific to date stage uh, to Matillion Databricks combination. So the resulting job will be fully compatible with the platform that you're running the code in, that you're converting to. Uh, besides converting data stage expressions, you can have the converter penetrate the um, 
the source uh, SQL statements, well, select statements that is, or pre and post statements and convert those as well to the appropriate uh, syntax. Now, how does the convert know that it needs to convert function calls from, from one format to another? So for example, if we take data stages, um, date since from date, uh, the converted changed that to date diff, but not only it changed the name of the function, it also changed the signature of the function. All that information is sitting in the externalized configuration file. So this is one of the um, cornerstones of, of uh, our philosophy as far as how the converters work. So we externalize a lot of configuration so the users will have different options on the output on, on how the um, resulting code uh, should look like. So one of the specifications here is ETL convert the config file pointing to another embedded JSON file, which is right here. And this file tells the converter how exactly to translate function calls. So for example, whenever the converter sees uh, data stages, uh, date since from date function, it will convert it to this output template. So this is a pretty sim simple convention. So we're providing the actual output pattern and $1 and $2 represent the original parameters to the function. Those parameters could be nested function calls or could be individual tokens. There could be something more complicated that, that we can express here. So for example, the char function can be converted to this entire expression or as integer can be converted to, to a cast call. So there are quite a few variations that you can embed into the converter config file. Um, and the way you maintain the function, uh, the list of functions that need to be converted is once you run the uh, BladeBridge analyzer before you, uh, you start the conversion project, the analyzer will create uh, a, an Excel spreadsheet and one of the tabs there will tell you what all the functions are that are being used on a project, okay? Now, um, similarly to how I ran data stage to uh, to Matilda and Databricks conversion, I can do the same with Informatica code. So I have an Informatica job. Uh, it has source qualifier, a couple of transforms, a couple of filters, an aggregator, and two targets. So again, I need to export this code, this metadata into an XML file, which Informatica provides APIs for. Once I, and once I have that, I can run a, another converter that uh, works similarly to data stage to Matillion converter. So I'm gonna navigate to that folder, Informatic to Matillion, um, and I'm gonna run this command line here. My output folder is empty now, and my command line looks like this. So info to Matillion, it takes uh, the same arguments. So the license key file, the um, input file name, the only difference is that I'm providing uh, informatic to Matillion specific um, config file that has translations from uh, from informatic or power center to Matillion uh, Databricks combination. So my function translation logic is different in the configuration file. And again, we expose this so we can under the hood use the same conversion engine, but um, the output patterns are configurable and I can change it to whatever I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the converter. And the converter produces uh, a JSON file. I'm gonna go back to Matillion and import that job. And the converter by default replicates the folder structure and the, uh, the names of the mappings or, or jobs. Uh, you can change that if you'd like. So for example, you can provide the, the mapping between your um, Informatica folders and uh, Matillion folders. And this is what the converter produced. Um, again, th the same concept applies as far as how we translate functions. So my... Um, out days worked, got converted from date diff, date underscore diff, and then we have three parameters in our signature. 
in Matillion for data breaks, we have date diff without the underscore and two parameters, because this is what's compatible with the underlying platform. And the converter just traverses the entire pipeline from sources to targets and will generate the code compatible with the original logic um, in, the, in the job, similarly to each stage. 